Hey, what's going on, everyone? I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that all of you are having a great day, and thank you for joining me here today for your daily dose of Star Wars. Yesterday marked the one-year anniversary of Carrie Fisher's passing, and with that being the case, I wanted to make a video about how Carrie's passing in real life could work into the story and wrap up the sequel trilogy. The final installment in the sequel trilogy and current Skywalker saga was set to have Colin Trevorrow direct the film, but he and Lucasfilm had disagreements about where they wanted the film to go. They were both stuck on different directions, and this led to the ways parting, and the job was given to J.J. Abrams, who's already started this trilogy, and he will now wrap it up. Before we go any further, the spoilers will awaken from this point on, so consider this your spoiler warning. The original plan for Episode 9 was to have Leia be a huge part of the story's main plot, just as Han was a huge part of The Force Awakens and Luke was a huge part of The Last Jedi. Leia was the last character from the Big Three that was still alive in the universe when The Last Jedi finished with Luke's passing and Han being killed in The Force Awakens. Unfortunately, Episode 9 had to start back from square one. J.J. Abrams certainly has his work cut out for him this time around with Episode 9, and after refamiliarizing the movie going audiences with Star Wars, he now has to take all that has happened and wrap it up in a nice little bow, and part of this includes ending Leia's story. Disney won't be recasting Leia or using any CGI to recreate her for the episode, which is good news. Luckily for them, they picked the right guy for the job in J.J. Abrams as he's already had to deal with a similar situation when it came to Star Trek Beyond. Leonard Nimoy passed away, and he had reprised his role as Spock Prime in the first two films of the rebooted Star Trek series. He acted as Luke Light and Han did in Star Wars The Sequel Trilogy, using the characters to be a segue from the original cast to the new cast. The way J.J. handled the story for Star Trek Beyond following this tragedy was to have Spock pass away of natural causes off of the screen, and use this as a part of Zachary Quinto's Spock. I would say that this is the most likely way Leia's story will end in Episode 9. If it worked for JJ once, then he will likely use the same method again. This would be the best way to end her story without causing a stir, especially since Mark Hamill can still reprise his role as Force Ghost Luke to Rey to still be a member of the big three present in the film. The best way to still have the story have Carrie's presence and Leia's presence all around it is to have Leia be a motivation for the Resistance to wipe out the First Order and restore the freedom and peace to the galaxy that they so desperately crave. The Last Jedi talked about leaders, and how Leia needed Poe to become one, and this is his opportunity. He, Poe, and Rey will now likely lead the Resistance. With everything that has happened in The Last Jedi and in real life, it seems like a time jump from the last two films couldn't hurt, especially since Ryan didn't leave a huge cliffhanger at the end of The Last Jedi. That wraps things up for me here in this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you want more Star Wars coffee and want to become a daily coffee drinker, be sure to hit that bell down there to receive a notification on your iOS or Android device the second a new video goes live. If you want more Star Wars coffee, you can always follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at SWCoffeeYouTube. Thank you guys for watching. As always, keep loving Star Wars, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.